Hi guys, in this lesson we're going to be taking a look at how to hold a pick and a little later on how to choose one. So I'm going to be giving you some more information about the pick itself a little later in this video, but let's get you straight in for a close-up and take a look at how to hold one. So here we are in a close-up of my picking hand. We want to have our hand in itself in sort of as if you're doing a thumbs up kind of shape and we're going to place the pick on top of your first finger so it's pointing the same way as your first, first finger and then you put your thumb on top of that so that the pick is still pointing the same way as your first finger and your thumb goes exactly in the middle of the pick leaving a couple of millimetres, maybe three millimetres of the pick showing um, above where your fingers are. A lot of beginners find that it may spin round you may drop your pick if you hold it this way. I know in the very early days, I used to hold it with two fingers behind and put your thumb on top. However, you just really want to persevere with this method. It, your fingers will get used to it. You will end up dropping it a lot less eventually. Please just persevere with this method. So that method again, first finger, uh, hand in a thumbs up kind of position with a, a nice space or an arch with the rest of your hand. Place the pick on your first finger with the pick pointing in the same direction as your first finger and then we place the thumb on top. And when we're holding the guitar itself, you want to have your pick in this area here just below either your neck pickup or directly over your sound hole if you're going for an acoustic guitar. And we're going to have your pick pointing directly into the string, so not pointing upwards or downwards, directly into your guitar, ideally with about a 10% angle down towards the the neck pick up itself down towards the string so that the pick kind of runs across the strings itself. So that's how we hold our pick, but how do we choose one? Well the two types that I would definitely recommend are either of the Jim Dunlop types, the nylon picks. Um, the one that I use is a 0.88mm USA nylon, um, the grey one, and uh, I do sometimes use Tortex picks also by Dunlop, but um, I don't really recommend any of the plastic ones. I've found they've they've broken on me an awful lot in the past. If it's very if it feels very harsh, hard and brittle, um, I wouldn't go for one of those out of personal preference. However, there are many better guitarists than me use those type of picks. Um, in terms of thickness, the thinner the better for absolute beginners. So we're talking like 0 0.63 is about the thinnest one that I've got, and it it's. It will just be a little bit more forgiving in the early days. You won't break as many strings. The volume will be more even. Um, though it has to be said that thicker picks tend to be better for any single string riffs. So if you're a more advancing player, um, 0.88 for me seems to cover all the bases. So any acoustic strumming or electric guitar playing, I like to use this kind of pick just to keep consistency. But even going for a one millimeter pick or above can be useful for electric guitar riff playing, uh, especially when you're trying to build speed. Though I know as a fact that Eddie Van Halen uses super thin picks to play his really fast you know, alternate picking, so there are no rules. You have to find your own preferences in these things, but there's a few guidelines for you. Thanks for checking out this video. Do go to andyguitar.co.uk for a free beginners course all available, all categorised in order, really easy to find on the website and I hope to see you again.